All right, so here I have my father's 2012 MacBook Pro. It's the base model of the time. That's a 13 inch screen. Intel Core i5, I believe it's the 2450M. Not completely sure. It's a dual core. I know for sure it either has two or four threads. I'm thinking more towards four. Um, it originally came with four gigs of RAM and a 500 gig mechanical hard drive running at 400 and, or 4,500 RPM. Now, since then, we have upgraded the SSD pretty recently. Uh, but we also did a RAM upgrade, so the SSD is 128 gigs. I'm not sure exactly which one's in here, but we'll when we open it up, we can take a look at that. Um, but I went ahead and put 8 gigs of RAM in here. Um, but this MacBook only supports 1600 megahertz RAM. Um, but when I bought it, they accidentally sent me a 1333 megahertz RAM kit. Um, so there's error messages when I try to turn on and it won't boot. Uh, so I finally got the correct kit. So we're going to take these out, take the RAM out so I can return it, put the RAM in, and I'm also going to show you how to do um, an SSD to hard drive replacement, even though it's already been replaced. We'll just go ahead and go back through there. So, take off my dad's case. Let's see what we've got here. All right, so on the back of the laptop, on this one, the, this model specifically, at least, there's an assortment of screws around the edges. Um, it's old enough where it still uses just a basic Phillips head screwdriver. But I know on the newer models, I believe anything past 2013 uses a specific, uh, I don't remember if it's like a uh, five point or five prong, or you know what I mean, five edges tip or something like that. Um, but this one luckily uses just a regular Phillips head. So I'm going to go ahead and take these all off, and then I will come back when it is... Uh, back panels removed all right now once all these screws are out you can just put your uh, fingernail through this slot back here where the air exhausts from or in oh yeah i'm pretty sure it exhausts from back here just take that out just set that cover up here and as you can see we have the exposed motherboard battery uh cd rom and the hard drive or the ssd that i've got in here which is you know an a data a data 128 gig ssd now, what we're gonna do is the RAM here. Let me go ahead and swap that out for the new kit I've got. And as you can see, pop this out. It's just a very generic, no-name brand, which was not at all what I was supposed to get. So that's kind of disappointing, but luckily I was able to get a return. Um, so we can do that. So let's go ahead and pop that RAM out. And grab this. Now, if no one knows if you may be unfamiliar with how to remove RAM from a laptop, it has these little slots. Oh, that could be bad. I'll just hold that in my hand. There are these little slots right next to it on this specific uh, MacBook, and uh, most laptops are like this. What you do is you push them both apart, and the RAM will pop out, and it'll usually it'll sit flush with the motherboard, but when you pop it out, as you can see, it opens up a little bit, almost like springy and then from there you just gently from each side pull it out and now you have your ram sticks out so yeah just legit if it'll focus just a basic four gig kit and as you can see somewhere it doesn't say no it doesn't even say the speed on there but i contacted the people and they said that they actually sent me the wrong one so that's how i know so instead Went ahead and spent just a little bit more money, not too much, and got a reliable ATEC brand, um, an actual name brand, 8 gig kit, 1600 megahertz. So we're going to get that open and get that installed. All right, so now we got the new kit out. And with RAM, as you can see, you have your pins down here. There's a groove, and the groove is not centered in the RAM. So that obviously means that the RAM only goes in in one direction. On this laptop, if you're facing, if it's upside down, or if it's backwards, and the hard drive is up here, and this little left pin needs to go on the uh, left hand side. So we'll go ahead and all you have to do is gently find the bottom slot and groove it in towards springy. On the bottom one, it's not as springy. It's a, it's a lot more difficult to do the bottom one, but once it's all the way as far as it'll go, you just gently push it until it clicks. Now it's in, you can see it's a little springy, but it won't pop back out. Same thing with that top one. Slide it in, springy, push in, it clicks, and now it stays there. 
And now the RAM has been installed. And it'll work just fine. Let me go ahead and put these in here. And then I will go to the SSD. Now the SSD is a little bit different. Um, it requires some different screws, but not on this part. So what we'll need to do to get the SSD switched out is there's like a bracket here. So we'll need to uh, unscrew these two parts. Go ahead and do that really quick. It doesn't unscrew all the way, but they'll eventually get to a point where it'll just kind of remove, pop that out. And now the SSD, if you on the side where you just remove the bracket, you kind of put your fingernails under and you lift up like this. Now you can't just pull it out because the original hard drive comes with these little screws on the end so that it'll kind of fit into place. So on the hard drive, you'll need to take it out and put it in on your new SSD. Um, it doesn't use a Phillips head. It uses some sort of, uh, looks like a hexagon or some sort, like a star shape. I believe it's a six point uh, screw head or whatever. Um, so you just need to put it on each side and then you'll need to line it up on the correct side with the uh, SATA interface and the power you should do, or sorry, power and then SATA interface. And then what you just do is you will slot that in, line it up on the side first and just kind of drop it in. And then we can stick the bracket back on. All right. This MacBook is finished. Got to put the screws in, boot the internet recovery, reinstall the operating system. Everything is fine. Other than that, we have effectively upgraded the SSD and the RAM. Um, that'll be all for this one. I think on my next video, I'm planning on um, a special laptop um, cooling upgrade kind of thing that I'm doing on a new laptop that I just bought. It's a pretty interesting video, something I've never really done before. The first video is not super in-depth with anything, but um, I think it'll be a nice little series. Um, hopefully I continue with it and hopefully YouTube works out and it's, it's pretty fun. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, you just put the screws back in and everything works. And then what you'll do after that is you'll boot into what's called internet recovery because your SSD holds all of your information uh, or your hard drive holds all your information. So when you install a new SSD, there'll be nothing on there, such as the operating system or any of your files. So what you'll need to do is if you don't have a USB with Mac OS on it, you can just do uh, internet recovery. And to go in internet recovery, you would hold down option, command R, press the power button, just keep holding those. As you can see, it says starting internet recovery. Um, it won't really work for me because it's not, I don't have ethernet hooked up. Um, but it'll keep doing this and then it'll bring you to a page where you can format the hard drive or the SSD correctly to work um, with Mac OS and then you'll install Mac OS from there and everything will work. Um, go ahead and I'm gonna do that later. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and screw in this MacBook and that's all good. Yeah, it's asked me to choose the network. I guess I can if I need to, but I'd like to do it hooked up to uh, Hardline because it's a lot faster. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get the screws back in and then we're good.